Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. Hey guys, it's Connie here from Quick Edits. Today, we're going to be looking at how to use the clone stamp tool, why you'd want to use it, and when you'd want to use it. Okay, to start, the clone stamp tool is mainly used for one reason, and that is to remove anything from an image. It uses the pixels around your subject that you want to erase, and then it'll clone stamp that part of that image over the part that you don't want to use anymore. I've got three examples today. This is our first image here. Uh, we've got some sheep in a field here. Great stuff. And it's this guy in the back here we're going to try to erase. Now I'm using this sheep as an example because he'll be pretty easy to erase because of what's behind him already. It's fairly even behind him. We've got around the same colors. Uh, it's fairly blurred as well, which will help us a lot. And we'll be able to select the pixels around the image, around uh, our subject, uh, to clone stamp him onto the sheep to erase him. So let's just get started. The clone stamp is situated on the left in your toolbars, this little icon here. We're going to select that. Now the way this is used, it's, it's almost like a brush. You can use your up and down brackets to size up your brush. And you're going to hold Alt or Option on a Mac to select any pixels around him. I'm going to hold Alt and select over here, and that's going to let me clone stamp over our sheep here and you see what this is doing so it's just selecting the area we can click and drag as well if you can see just to the right of the brush is that uh this little cross here this is where we're going to be sampling from so that's 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 what we're doing right there we're going to be sampling just so, just around it you don't want to get too close to the sheep right you see there we got too close to this sheep here and it started to stamp over there so we need to command z that and we'll go from again and we're just going to keep going around it's always best to keep sampling from around it. I wouldn't stick to the same stamp. And there we go, you can see it's already starting to work here. And we're just gonna get on top of the ears here. So we're gonna take this green. Just going back, selecting Alt. And that's that's pretty much it there, guys. Now if you want, if you can see here, just up into this top edge here, just here, it's starting to get a little bit blurry where we've been stamping. So I'm just going to select it again into our clone stamp. And I'm just going to get this little ridge here. And you can see I can drag this ridge just over to sharpen up that edge there. And that's looking pretty good. And again, it's getting a little bit blurry in this area here. So I'm just going to get maybe this little weed here. And I'm going to size up the brush as much as I can. I'm just going to select that and place it right there. Let's have a zoom out and see what we've done. And there we go, guys. That sheep no longer there. You now it's nothing personal. It was just for this tutorial. I think the sheep was great. Uh, but we're going to move on to the next example. Now, our next example we're going to use is an image I took this morning. Uh, this is just, just outside my window. And what we're going to try and use this time, we're going to try and erase this plant part here and also my keys. So we're going to be left with nothing, really. Uh, now, this could be challenging because... We are going to be on a more harsh background right back here, so we're going to have to try and line these lines up as much as possible. But luckily, I've given ourselves some, some play around so we can grab these pixels and just overlay it here. Again, because we've got a pretty blurred background, it should be fairly easy to try and clone stamp around here. And because we don't actually know what's behind this image, uh, we can just make sure it looks okay and we can just do it by eye, really. Uh, so let's just let's just give this a go. Uh, I want my clone stamp here, and I'm just going to start sampling towards these trees back here, and I'm just going to keep going around, selecting different areas. You never want to use the same one. I'm just going to start erasing the leaves here. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to use this part of this wall here, and I'm just going to use that to erase this section here. I keep sampling it. Oh. I'm going to bring it down, and you can see that it's starting to bring our window back in, and that's looking that's looking fairly decent there. I'm just going to grab that part again, keep sampling, we can drag it down. Now we could, theoretically, just keep doing this until we come across an issue. Luckily it's quite parallel, so this is doing a really good job. We are starting to hit the keys there a little bit, so we're starting to clone stamp the keys, but that's not an issue. We'll get rid of that. Wow, look at that. That worked better than I thought. I'm just going to remove the keys here, and I'm going to 
outside of this area here just upwards and down and that's looking pretty good let's just finish off here with these leaves and because we didn't really know what was behind here I'm just I'm just making it making it up obviously I know it is it's my back garden but for now that's looking pretty good oh that's a little bit dark so I'm gonna sample a different area that's looking pretty good there now we have got some color differences here so what I'm just gonna do is just gonna use a bigger brush just to start there we go just to blend those colors in a little bit just stamping around until you don't really see much of a difference and that's looking pretty good right there there we go guys that's the plant park gone let's work on the keys this time and we're just going to sample pretty much this area here now is blank and we might be able to just do this in one go oh went a bit too far there and we're just going to go up oh, look at this guys within two samples we've completely removed the keys as well and the and we've now got an empty window. That was fairly quick, guys. Worked better than I thought, really. Okay, let's move on to our next example, which is this lapel mic here. Now, this is where things can get tricky because we are going to use the pen tool. Oops. We're going to use the pen tool just straight down the middle here. And we're going to preserve uh, this harsh line here. Let me just click off of that. We're going to use the pen tool to preserve this line so that we can work on this half of the shirt and then on this half of the shirt as well. So let's just unlock our layer here. Oh, okay. Okay, and let's start removing this lapel mic here. Uh, we're gonna use our pen tool and let's select P on the keyboard. If not, you can go over here and it's left on our left toolbar here. And we're just gonna start pen tooling roughly where this shirt line would be. Just down like that. Right now I'm just creating a shape. I'm just gonna go back around, finish up. Now I'm gonna use our shape as a uh, Selection. I'm going to hide it and using our layer underneath. This is what we're going to be working on. This is where we're going to use the clone stamp to remove the mic. Select our clone stamp, start clicking Alt around the area, and we should just be able to remove it just like that. Just get the right colors. Getting too much of the button there. So it was important to try and keep this color scheme when you're doing this because that's what's going to spot you out. And let's deselect that. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And okay, this time we're going to go back to our same shape. I'm going to press Command and click on the icon. And I'm going to go to Select, Inverse. And now I'm selected around our shape so this time we can work on this one here so we're going to go back to our clone stamp tool and i'm going to sample from this area keep sampling around get the different colors and let's just see what that's given us i'm going to deselect and there we go guys that's not looking that bad at all uh the line is a little bit sharp but for this tutorial that gives you a fairly good understanding why you'd want to isolate a part of the image so that you don't have to destroy the rest of it with the clone stamp tool as well. There's three different examples there of why you'd want to use it, and I think we've done a pretty pretty good job. We used to have a sheep here on this one. We have my keys and the plant pot, and this guy had a lapel mic on as well. And there we go. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.